everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's DIY I'm going to use these new candle holders from Dollar Tree now I have them turned upside down because you can use them either way I wanted to show you these are new these are a whole lot thicker than the ones that they have that are similar and naturally when I seen these I was like I really have to do a DIY with these so we have three different heights and honestly they come in about five different heights some are a little bit taller than the other ones, so they're kind of off. So I actually ended up buying about five different ones and decided on which ones that I would use for this particular DIY. I'm going to flip them over and use them this way. So again, I have three different heights. So the first thing I want to do is clean these up really well and then move on to the next step. And then I'm using some alcohol to clean it. Okay guys, so I have these all cleaned up. Now, I also have some of the Dollar Tree fish bowls. Now initially, I was gonna do one tall candle holder and two shorter ones like this. I was gonna use two of the smaller fish bowls on the shorter candle holders, okay? I decided that I would do them all the same exact size. So I went to Dollar Tree and purchased two more of the larger fish bowls. So as you can see, there are three different heights. I'm going to take out my Gorilla Glue and go ahead and glue all three together, like so. So I'm going to flip this over. Here I'm going to clean this with alcohol. I have a little alcohol in the spray bottle. And now I'm just going to take some of my Gorilla Glue and go around the rim. Put the top back on it. And now I'm going to place this right in the center. Okay, that looks pretty good. Same thing with this one. Okay guys, I'm back. So this is what we have. So what I'm going to do now is use some of my pink crushed glass that was sent to me by Elisa Higgs. Thank you so much, Elisa. I appreciate you so very much. So what I'm going to do is put some of the shoe box that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Well, I went ahead and just emptied the whole bag inside. I'm going to put some Mod Podge in here. Now, I showed you guys how to do it with Wicked Stick It. Both ways are easy for me, but Mod Podge is cheaper. So I'm going to go with my Mod Podge. <laughs> Put my Mod Podge in here. And today I'm going to wear gloves. Now, normally I'll do this without gloves, but today I just don't want to deal with the stickiness of the Mod Podge. Now these have been gluing for about two hours, so I'm not gonna be too careless when I handle it. I'm still gonna support it together and just brush the Mod Podge on. Okay, so now just put this on. This pink is really beautiful. Just like that. Now I'll do the other two and then come back. Okay, so this is what it looks like after one coat. So now I'm gonna come in with more Mod Podge and crushed glass. I'm just looking for the open spaces like this to fill in.
Okay, just like that. So I went ahead and did these two ahead of time. I'm gonna let these dry and then come back, seal them, and add a little bit of glitter to yeah, it. So here are my three candle holders. And this is what it looks like up close. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a little Mod Podge here, maybe like one third Mod Podge, two thirds water, and this is going to seal the crushed glass in place. So here's my Mod Podge. And my water. And then I'm just gonna use my brush to mix it. You just wanna dip your brush into the mixture and just dab it right on top. Go all the way around. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some of my pink glitter. I picked this up at Walmart and sprinkle it right on top just to give it a little bit more bling. If you don't want to use pink, you can use silver or gold. It depends on whatever color combination you're going for. Again, I'll let this completely dry and then it will be set. Okay guys, I'm back and I know you see a whole lot going on now. I put a bow on all three. And then I put like a small little brooch here. And I also decided to go ahead and put some crushed glass at the bottom. And right here I put some of the glitter. I didn't want to put the crushed glass right on top of there. Okay, so I did that to all three pieces and this is what we have. So you can actually be done here, but I had these on hand. I'll leave the skew in the description. So what I want to do is put this right on top of here. So let's just go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to put some glue right on the rim. I've already cleaned the rim. And if you decide to do this, make sure that there's no crushed glass in the way. It's like a perfect fit. Like it was meant to be together. <laughs> I really love the way that looks. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Finally, the tallest one. Okay, so everything looks good. So we are done. On the ribbon, I put like a, a strip of glue here and added some glitter just to give it a little bit more bling. But yeah, I'm gonna let these dry overnight and then I'm going to put a candle holder on the inside. It's gonna be a glass candle holder that I put a tea light on the inside of and then I put it on the inside and light it up. I actually have three of these, so I might just use these. And as promised, Here's my beautiful set of blush pink crushed glass candle holders. Here I'm showing you what they look like in three different lighting settings. And as you can see, they look gorgeous in any setting. Now, as for the ribbon, I really love it with ribbon. I want it to be a little bit wider, so I'm going to replace it with wider ribbon. Again, I think these candle holders are absolutely beautiful and they are perfect for home decor or special occasions as well. Okay everyone, this concludes my video. I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, if you found the Amazon free gift card code, please comment below. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.